Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, I have not been on my channel for what seems like ages and I think it's been nearly a month and I'm really, really sorry for that. I literally just needed time away from social media. Um, I did actually post a picture on my Instagram story about, you know, how I want to go around things and just for me to take a break as I wasn't in a good place and I just needed to figure out what I wanted to do with my channel and just my life in general because yeah, things happen, don't they? And we just need a bit of time on our own. But I'm back now. Today I'm going to be talking about my plans. Just a life update really because why not? And I just thought that I would give you an update because why not? Not my um, college plans for next year so obviously as you're watching this we are in quarantine and today is the 2nd of July when I'm filming this so this video will be up tomorrow hopefully I'm not too sure what I want to do next year for college if you guys are new to my channel um I am a college student I finished year 12 and year 13 so I've just finished year 13 and um I am wanting to do a third year at college because I'm basically wanting to do a separate course now if you're new I did level one and level two art and design I have decided that I want to change courses and do a third year of some sort of course so with that in mind I really want to go on to do like beauty therapy which kind of entails like massages and nails and just like pedicures manicures that sort of stuff so it's not actually like beauty like makeup related it's more kind of just other beauty kind of um things that you go for at a salon that sort of stuff it's gonna be like eyelashes and eyebrows that sort of thing but that doesn't mean to say that i will like it um i am going along just to try it because obviously if this whole thing hadn't happened then i would have gone in for a taste a day um, if none of you know what a taste a day is, um, you basically go in and you go and see what the course is like for like a few hours or a day and you just kind of go around the department, kind of just see if you're going to like the course that you're wanting to apply for and just kind of see what's going to be like for the year and if you're going to like it or not. But that was what was going to happen before this whole pandemic started. I'm a bit stuck because my friends are still staying on at college, so some of them are doing like dance, some of them are just sticking to art level three again. I just don't really want to do level three art again. Like my one of my friends is a year younger than me and um, so she started a year later than me even though she's in the same class as me and um, she's going to be doing um, art and design level three. Now whereas I like that's totally fine um, I just don't want to do like three years of art. Well technically it's four because level one is one year, level two is another year and then level two is two years. Um, sorry level three. I just don't want to spend four years doing art and and just like not getting anywhere with it and nothing to really like show for it really apart from like level one level two and level three certificates and um, so i am like really interested in really doing my nails at the moment and um, some of you might have seen that i actually do my own nails on camera or i do it for videos where i've, I've got a pack on now as you can see i've got a red pair on today i've literally just done them um as i have been just before i started filming this video and I'm just really enjoying like sitting down doing my nails like I'm not the type of girl um, that will go out and get her nails done every week or whatever I just don't see the point I'm just too like not clumsy but I'm just kind of too scared to snap them and break them so I just don't do that um, but yeah I mean I just like to do my nails these are literally from Primark I'm not gonna lie to you they're from Primark they're a pound you know they do and they just feel me they just make me feel a bit nicer about myself um, so yeah, that is why I bought these. I literally have a whole drawer dedicated to nails. I think I've got about 10 or 12 pairs in there, which yeah, is kind of ridiculous. Um, but I have an obsession and I don't really have anything else to do. So why not just, you know, spend 10 minutes doing your nails and make you feel a bit better in quarantine. That is basically my plans for next year. Some of you had followed me for a while. So I just thought, you know, I would give you an update because you guys are like my friends and I love you all so much. Um, but yeah, I just think it's so important to address those kind of things. Um, I also wanted to go into the topic of friendships because I feel like it's so important to talk about these sorts of things and I feel like now that we're in quarantine and like I haven't been able to see my nan for like three months because she lives down in Surrey where I'm originally from if you didn't know. 
um and so i haven't been able to see her for ages and i think it's like the longest time i've gone without seeing her because i'm so used to seeing her like every six weeks because like obviously when it's half term or you know summer holidays or whatever then i go and see her on the train um and it's just been really difficult recently like i'm so blessed to have like you know facetime and you know a phone to be able to call her like every day but it's just not the same there's just something more about having actual human interaction that's so important i'm still really grateful to have facetime and that sort of thing and i feel like we do just take that for granted every day really now i've started to do like family quizzes every week and um, so we started a few weeks ago we've done it for a good amount of time um, and literally all of my family members just take it in turn to just, you know, host a quiz. So I've done it a few times. Um, my auntie doesn't do them, but like my other family members do. Um, so that's been really good. And we've had like 10 of us each week on, you know, FaceTime just doing a quiz. It just gets you doing something and just kind of interacting with each other and just kind of forgetting that you know not forgetting that everyone's there i said we're like a really close family and we all you know live well most of us live within like a you know like 10 mile radius um so you know it's quite easy just to go and see each other and you know we're just literally around the corner from each other i also wanted to touch upon the subject of mental health because i know that this is such a taboo um subject to be talking about and it really should not be it's so important to be able to talk to people about how you're feeling and to let those emotions out and to share your you know your worries and your problems with other people because when a problem is shared is a problem halved and I really do believe in that quote and that saying. It really does help when you go and speak to somebody and know that somebody's listening to you and not necessarily like empathizing with you, but it's just there to listen to and just kind of understand. I know that we're all stuck in at the moment, although we're not in total lockdown in the UK at the moment, but it's still so important to talk to people, see your friends when you can, um, obviously social distance and you know abiding by government laws and stuff. But I just think it's so important to talk to each other. Talking is so important. Now I'm realising more than ever that it's so important to keep in contact with friends, especially that we're not seeing them every day at college or school or even in the workplace because it's just so important. Like I can't stress it enough. And I feel like if you're struggling and you're watching this video, please reach out to somebody, whether it's me, a friend or a family member or a counsellor or a teacher. Please, please just reach out and speak to somebody because as I said a problem told is a problem halved and I think it's so important to understand when you need, when you need help and whether it's me or anyone else please please um, please don't suffer in silence is basically what I'm trying to say. I also wanted to include what sort of things I've been doing whilst in quarantine um, so I've actually been getting a little bit more artistic, I mean, go me. Um, I am really, you know, starting to show my artistic side during quarantine. I basically saw this video on TikTok. It was a girl who's basically got a canvas and she's printed off a picture that she likes from the internet and then she's put the piece of paper onto the canvas and then she's kind of stuck like pinholes through the picture and obviously taken away the piece of paper. And then on the canvas it shows the outline of the picture that she wants to create this idea. And then she creates like, she grabs like wool and um, she kind of just like um, sews it kind of, you know, in that running stitch and that sort of thing. And so I decided to create my own. Um, I actually don't have it at the moment because I've actually given it to somebody as a present because I really liked how it turned out. Um, I actually think I've got a picture on my phone. Also bought another um, canvas to do another idea. Now I haven't quite got an idea as to what to do next, so you know, bear with me. Um, but I actually, I actually bought this um, canvas just here. Bought a canvas. Um, it's literally just from Poundland. It's not anything special i just didn't want to spend so much on canvas and then if it turns out rubbish you know I'm, i've wasted like six pounds um on top of all the materials so i just decided to give it a test trial i've never done it before and i was actually really proud of how it came out but i'll leave my instagram and snapchat handles on the screen and they're always in the description so if you miss it then just go down there i've also been doing my bullet journal <laughs> it's not in that drawer but this is the um book that I keep it in. I've done like 
little pages like loading 2020 uh, if you want to see a video on my journal then i can do that um i'll show you my favorite page that i've done and this is probably my favorite page it's just like a play um like playlist that i've done so that was back in um, february and then i have done like just that things that i'm grateful for just like little stuff like that um i just thought that i would include i've got a self-care list um that i just decides to do because why not music again because who doesn't love music if you want to see a video when i finished all of my bullet journaling then let me know um because i would quite happily do that for you all so i've also actually been reading recently and i'm actually really really enjoying it i think i've mentioned this in a few videos but i actually don't read very much i never used to read very much um, but I'm now actually really getting into it. So I think I've read about three or four books during quarantine, which is actually really good for me, even though that's like three months. Um, you know, we're trying to we're trying to change that um, because quarantine is going to change me. I'm currently reading this book. I'm really enjoying it. So it's basically about a um, a girl who sees a horrific attack um, streamed on live on a laptop and like the police are in shock because no one basically believes her um and at the moment it's really good so they're searching for like a missing person as well and like the links to it all so yeah i mean i'm only like a quarter of the way through but like you know it's it's really good um so yeah currently reading that so if you're into books really recommend this one well, i've basically had this video idea where i really want to show you all like useless stuff that i've bought in quarantine i don't know if you guys want to see that or not i've seen carla espinosa youtuber that i watch also post this video and i've been loving her content recently um and i i've seen her upload this video and i think it's a really good idea so i just thought that'd be a bit of a laugh just to upload um and because i have actually been buying stuff online not like you know pretty little thing orders and boohoo orders but i've been buying like amazon stuff which my bank account now hates me for um and it's screaming at me saying becca stop it <laughs> um but yeah apart from that i've just been looking forward to parcels coming to be honest because that's what my life has come to i mean to be fair i have bought fitbit here's another thing that i want to talk to you about so i don't know whether you guys know or not but i just do not like coffee um i mean take me to mcdonald's and i will get the iced caramel is it latte or frappe anyway i get that um and it's so good like laura introduced uh, me to it and yeah it's been a bit of an issue because <laughs> I've been buying it too often, but you know, thanks Laura. <laughs> I've been getting that at McDonald's like more or less every time I go, which is so, so bad. Regretting my life choices. Particularly on TikTok, I've seen like this new trend going around where people are making their own iced um, coffees. And I think it's really cool and I really wanted to try it. Um, so I might actually do a video on that because I've done it once and I think I found an obsession. If you want to see that as well, like basically a TikTok where I make my own coffee, then let me know. Um, also, if you're not following me on TikTok, it's basically the same as my Instagram. It's my life is Becca X. So if you're not following me on there, you should. I think I've got over 100 followers now, which is just great. Um, I mean, I don't know who wants to see my videos, but you obviously do. So <laughs> love that for me. But yeah, that's basically, I think, all I wanted to keep you just to update you on really i really hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you in my next video please stay safe and stay at home when you can and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye